Hi, it's me, Vicky Marie. And I've just finished my members live for tonight. Every Thursday we do a live. Uh, we have a live stream. And I just finished it and I was just about to go to bed. And uh, oh, here's my little dog. Come and say hello, Riley. Um, I made a, a mistake, if you like, of going on Twitter just for the last time before I go to bed. <clears throat> just to see, you know, you think you've missed something. And um, came across something that I've seen before on Twitter. Now I've started following this account and I just was compelled to make this video. I would want to warn you, it's quite sad. And this Twitter account that, I, uh, that just popped up on my feed, Counting Dead Women, and I thought in the light of some of the cases that are covering, especially with Samantha Murphy being missing, hopefully will not result in, you know, M-U-R-D-E-R. Um, and of course, Anna, who's missing from Madrid. Uh, and a lot of cases, cases that I was talking about in the members' life of women uh, who unfortunately are not with us anymore. And this Twitter account, basically outlines all the women that have died this year so far. So we're only on the 15th of February. These women have died as a result of violence from a man, uh, unfortunately. Now, I don't want to, you know, I am literally, I'm not anti-men, but something's wrong, isn't it? Something's wrong. Uh, when so many of these cases, so many already, and this is only the UK, by the way, as well. So we're only talking about the UK. And uh, I think what made it, of course, for those of you who know anything about me and my backstory, I have, uh, I was stalked many years ago, and I, I consider myself a survivor of stalking because I could have ended up just like one of these women. But not only all, these women are not all killed by ex-partners. Unfortunately, domestic violence also can be from sons, you know, which is very hard even to say or talk about. I think probably if these women before uh, whatever happened to them happened to them, a couple of the women... It may have, you know, I would imagine that's almost impossible to talk about to people. Uh, as difficult as domestic violence is, you know, from a man is bad enough. <clears throat> anyway, so it starts on the 3rd of January with Tia Simmons, who was found dead at home in Lewisham. And Shane Simmons, who is 38, has been charged with murder. He is also charged with two counts of rape in relation to a separate woman. So he's a real charmer. Now, the case, I think the reason that I'm doing this video, because I thought about whether to do it tomorrow. Or, uh, but this next case, um, this really upset me so much. Uh, more than all of them in a way, but I think it's because... I lived in this area. This is in Reading, near Reading, Pangbourne, which is very close to Reading where I lived for eight years. And on the 4th of January, 2024, Maya Bracken, who was 56, was stabbed to death in her car near her heart, home in Berkshire. And a young man of 18 was hit by a train nearby and died at the scene. And police have linked the incidents and are not looking for anyone else in connection with this death, uh, with either death. So the, the, the 18 year old boy who was run over by a train was her son. So it seems that he stabbed his mother for whatever reason. And uh, then he, he went and took his own life. I'm so sorry, I did tell you that this was distressing. And um, this happened in Pangbourne near Reading. And the other, so it, it struck home especially for me, one, because I've got a son, 
two because I lived in Reading and also it just struck me this woman lived in a 2.5 million pound mansion and she was found dead in a, cra a crashed Lexus with stab wounds in her chest in Pangbourne, Pangbourne near Reading. Now, the thing is, the, so that just illustrates, doesn't it? Domestic violence, one, it's not always from your partner. It can be from your son or your daughter because there are women that have been killed by their daughters uh, and men. So I think there needs to be a more general conversation about domestic violence, how it can happen uh, to anyone. And it, it's not necessarily what you think of as a part, you know, we think of domestic violence, we think of it being a partner, but it's not always a partner. It can be a sibling, you know, it can be your own child. So um, just, just, and it, happens in all walks of it doesn't matter if you've got a 2.5 million pound mansion you know it doesn't protect you driving a lexus it doesn't protect you and this boy because i don't know it broke my heart for him because although he's done a terrible thing killing his mother but he's 18 years old and then he's gone and thrown himself in front of a train <coughs> uh anyway so going back so that's maya rest in peace maya rest in peace tia then when this was the 8th of january john berry 85 given a life sentence with a minimum of 10 years for murdering his wife edna berry 80 who suffered with Alzheimer's. So there's no uh, age limit on domestic violence. And she was struck at least 14 times with a hammer, a baseball bat and a chisel. And she died on the 21st of February, 2023. Rest in peace, Edna. On January the 9th, Taylor McIlvener has pleaded guilty to murdering his partner. Now, I know I won't pronounce that name. That's an Irish name. I'm so sorry. So I'm not going to try and say it because I don't want to insult her by saying it wrong. But she was found with serious head injuries at her home in Belfast on the 18th of December 2021. And a post from January the 15th. On the 5th of January 2024, Alison McLaughlin, 53, and her husband, Neil McLaughlin, were found, 57, were found dead at a property in Greenock, Inverclyde, and people, uh, police are treating Alison's death as murder and her husband's as non-suspicious. They look at, this is what I feel could have happened to me. They're not looking for anyone else in connection with the deaths. Rest in peace, Alison. January the 15th, on the 1st of January 2024, Kiyotsa file Naso Isaacs, or Isaacs, 33, was found dead at her home in North Berwick, East Lothian, and her husband, Mom Patty Dodo Isaacs, 37, is charged with her murder. Rest in peace. January the 15th. Alberto Fioletti, 31, was given a life sentence with a minimum of 15 years. 15 years. He's 31 years old. 15 years, please for murdering Stephanie Hodgkinson, 34, whom he stabbed eight times in May 2023. She had recently ended their seven-month relationship. The judge said Fioletti was a significant danger to women, not that much of a danger that he should be 15 years. 
Yeah, so I'm like simmering with rage as I was reading these things and that's why I've ended up doing this video. January the 22nd, Jason Gowan, 27, must serve 20 years for murdering his partner. A little bit more like it, but still not enough. Fiona Robinson, 37. She suffered rib and spine fractures, significant bruising and bruising consistent with strangulation. Gowan was all, he was awaiting sentence for the assault of a previous partner when he killed Fiona. So that 20, now that we know that as well, the 20 years that he's been given, he's 27 years old. He'd be 47 when he's got a chance of coming out. Rest in peace, Fiona. January the 25th. Sheldon Rodriguez, 30, was convicted of murdering his housemate. Stephanie Hansen, 39. He stabbed her multiple times and used blunt instruments at their home in Hayes, London. He had set up surveillance equipment to monitor and spy on her. I don't know what sentence he would get, probably 15 years. January the 25th, Tara, sorry, I'm sorry, rest in peace, um, Stephanie. Tara Kershaw, 33, found dead after being strangled at a property in Great Yarmouth, Norfolk. Adam Barnard, 40, who was known to her, has been charged with her murder. Rest in peace. Then this, we covered this case as it was happening. 19th of January. Kantisha was visiting her nieces, Jasmine. Because uh, I'm definitely going to go and say because these two little girls. She was visiting her nieces, Jasmine and Natasha when they were stabbed to death and police are treating their deaths as a murder and the girl's father was also found dead. Police are not looking for anyone else. So this is the guy with the mental health issues, rang the police, rang 999 and asked for help and was told to contact a medical professional and then within an hour all these three women were dead or girls these two girls these two little girls and this woman were dead the police did not attend rest in peace <clears throat> 29th of january william finley 68 sentenced to a minimum 20 years for the murder of Alison Nelson, 64. He stabbed her seven times in less than a minute. <coughs> what? Finley is the first person in Northern Ireland to be sentenced for murder aggravated by domestic abuse. Do me. Rest in peace, Alison. So you can see there's no age boundary. These uh, children, you know, pensioners, rich people, probably poor people, no, no, doesn't matter on your ethnic minority, does it? Nothing. It, it, there is no boundaries. There are no, uh, you know, it can happen to any woman. <clears throat> now, I am aware. It's not only women that these things can happen to, uh, but just this is specifically for women. There's something wrong in society, isn't there? There's something wrong. What? Why is it? You know, it's just, it's just constant. And not all men are horrible. I know that not all men are horrible, but men have got to stand up against this as well. February the seventh. 26th of January 2024, Claudia Cambanza was stabbed on the street in Hull. Her partner has been charged with murder and possession of a bladed article. So I think they've missed the died out there. She died a short time later. On the street, if you're not safe, you know, 
when there's people around. Oh, it's so just awful. Rest in peace, Claudia. Right, we're into February now. February the 7th. Matthew Pickering was convicted of murdering his partner, Georgina, 46 in Neath. Georgina was found with a bin bag over her head at their home in Neath. She was beaten and strangled to death on the 7th of May, 2023. Rest in peace, Georgina. 7th of February, Mark Close, 53, was given a suspended sentence for gross negligence manslaughter of his partner, Claire Bell, 42. He failed to seek help for hours, even after he saw the skin shedding from her feet as he lifted her out of a scalding bath that he had helped her into. She died in August. A suspended sentence. What? A suspended sentence. Oh, well, wait till he kills the next one, uh, like murder. I mean, how is that not murder? How is that not murder? Somebody help me out here because am I living in a parallel universe? But he put her into a scalding bath. And then he failed to seek help for hours, even after he saw the skin shedding from her feet. And that is not murder or even manslaughter, and he only receives a suspended sentence. Okay. Uh, rest in peace, Claire. February the 12th, David Clark, 80, sentenced to a minimum of 21 years for the murder of his wife. Helen Clark, 77, in September. Now, the other older guy, earlier on, he only got 10 years. Anyway, she was 77. He hit Helen repeatedly over the head with a hammer before setting their car on fire and driving into oncoming traffic. Helen died two days later. Rest in peace, Helen. What did she go through? February the 13th, 9th of February 2024, Michelle Romano, 68, was found with serious injuries at her son's home in Chelmsford. She was pronounced dead at the scene and her son, Sebastian Compton, 47, has been charged with murder. So, in December, so this is their pinned comment on their Twitter profile. In December, uh, December the 18th last year, they pinned the comment, the comment that at least 97 UK women had been killed by men or where the man was the principal primary suspect in 2023. So all those that I just read out, that's only so far. Uh, incidences you know they've not all been killed like this year but you know just just breaks your heart and some of them I mean this one just breaks my heart because well because it was her son and uh, he was 18 years old and he went off and did that to himself as well for himself under a tra the tragedy of it the tragedy of it despite the fact they lived in a two and a half million pound home you know see how the, it just doesn't there's no boundaries there's no nobody everybody this is relevant to everyone because even if you're not a man uh, sorry not a woman this could be your mother this could be your sister this could be your friend this could be your auntie, this could be your grandma. I mean, you know, this is relevant to everybody. And some of them, like this person, 
Shane Simmons, who murdered Tia, charged with murder and also charged with two counts of rape in re relation to a separate woman. And what was the other one? Um, somebody who was... Uh, Already waiting sentence, here he is. Jason Gowan for murdering his partner, Fiona Robinson. He was already awaiting sentence for assault of her previous partner when he killed Fiona. <sighs> okay. So, I'm sorry that won't have uh, helped you to sleep well. But I just had to share it. I just had to talk about it because it just upset me so much. And uh, something's got to be done. I don't know what. I don't know what, but something's got to be done. Why are women in so much danger in their own homes, most of them? From their own family, from their own friends, from their own partners, from their own sons. I know it's food for thought, isn't it? I don't even know if I'll actually show this video. I don't know if I can. Anyway, remember to live and look. I can't even say that. So just take care of yourself. Until I see you again, may your God go with you. Bye.